Have a blessed morning, and welcome back brothers and sisters in Christ, to the Holy Rosary Today channel. Let us pause for a moment of reflection and spiritual contemplation, as we engage in today's Catholic morning prayers. Join us in seeking divine guidance and blessings, to commence our day. If you love what we are doing, please support us by subscribing, liking and sharing, and hit the notification bell, so you can stay updated whenever we have new videos. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, as I begin this new day, I come before you with a heart overflowing with gratitude. And my soul longing for the well-being, of those around my life's journey. I ask you, O Lord, to grant me the clarity of vision to extend my reach beyond myself. Lord, I entreat your boundless grace, to cascade upon the lives of those nearest and dearest to me. May your divine blessings envelop them like a gentle embrace suffusing their days with the radiance of your love. May they not only recognize, but also be profoundly moved by the depth of your affection, finding solace and strength in your enduring presence. Lord, I humbly implore your divine touch, to rest upon each beloved soul, bringing forth renewal and restoration, where there is brokenness and pain. Let your healing light shine forth, soothing wounds both seen and unseen, and infusing their beings with the promise of wholeness. Lord, I lift my voice in praise for the precious gifts of companionship and kinship you have bestowed upon me. Each soul you have placed in my life is a testament to your infinite wisdom and unfailing grace. As I offer thanks for their presence, I also pray for your divine guidance to illuminate their paths leading them ever closer, to the sanctity of your presence. Lastly, may your guiding hand, be their compass in moments of uncertainty, steering them towards paths, adorned with righteousness and peace. Grant them the courage, to tread boldly upon the journey of faith, knowing that you are ever-present, guiding and guarding their steps. In your divine mercy and wisdom, hear my prayer, O Lord and let it rise as a fragrant offering before your throne, Amen. The Holy Gospel of Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke, chapter 1 verses 26-38. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God, to a town of Galilee called Nazareth. To a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace! The Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, 
and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her, who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me, according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, Amen. The Angelus Prayer The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary. And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me, according to thy word. Hail Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth we beseech Thee, O Lord, Thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ Thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord, Amen. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open, to the beauty of God every day. Dear Holy Spirit, as I begin this day, I ask for your guidance and inspiration in all that I do. Help me to discern your will for my life, and to follow it with faith and courage. Give me wisdom to make good choices, and strength to face the challenges of the day. Fill me with your love, joy, and peace. And help me to share these gifts with those around me. Use me as an instrument of your grace and mercy in the world. Please protect me from all that is evil and help me to resist temptation, and to pursue all that is good. Above all, help me to love and serve you with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. May my life be a reflection of your goodness, and grace to all those around me, Amen. St. Vincent Ferrer, our guardian, because God, our eternal Father, has blessed you with an inexhaustible fountain of grace and blessing, we beg you to hear our prayers. And to assist us with your powerful intercession, 
which is even more effective now that you are in heaven, than it was when you were on earth. Full of confidence in your mercy and compassion, we kneel in prayer before you. And commend to your powerful intercession all our needs, those of our families, our friends and relatives. Glorious St. Vincent Ferrer, let not our hope and confidence in your protection be deceived. Intercede for us, before the throne of God. Watch over our eternal welfare. If our trials and tribulations in this world multiply, may they serve to give us spiritual joy and happiness. If God will only grant us the grace, of ever-increasing patience to the end, that we may save our souls. Daily Offering to the Immaculate Heart of Mary O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and suffering of this day. In union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass, throughout the world. I offer them for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart. The Salvation of Souls Reparation for Sins The Reunion of All Christians I offer them for the intentions of our bishops and of all apostles of prayer. And in particular, for those recommended by our Holy Father this month. Prayer of Surrender to Jesus Heavenly Father, I completely surrender all my life to you. I adore you, for you are mighty and all-powerful. Worthy of all my praise. As I kneel and worship to you, Lord. Sometimes I am so overwhelmed. By what is going on around me. That I am lost for words. By the working power of the Holy Spirit. I know that all I need to do is call on the beautiful. Sweet-sounding name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you for that privilege. Take Lord, and receive all my liberty. My memory, my understanding. And my entire will. All I have and call my own. You have given all to me. To you Lord, I return it. Everything is yours. Do with it, what you will. Give me only your love, and your grace. That is enough for me, Amen. Consecration Prayer to the Blessed Virgin Mary O Mary, Virgin Most Powerful and Mother of Mercy! Queen of Heaven and Refuge of Sinners, we consecrate ourselves to Thine Immaculate Heart. We consecrate to Thee, our very being and our whole life. All that we have, all that we love, all that we are. To Thee we give our bodies, our hearts and our souls. To Thee we give our homes, our families, our country. We desire that all that is in us, and around us, may belong to Thee. And may share in the benefits of Thy motherly benediction. And that this act of consecration, may be truly efficacious and lasting. We renew this day at Thy feet, the promises of our baptism, and our first Holy Communion. We pledge ourselves, to profess courageously. And at all times, the truths of our holy faith. And to live as befits Catholics, who are duly submissive. To all the directions of the Pope, and the bishops in communion with him. We pledge ourselves, to keep the commandments of God and his Church. In particular, to keep holy, the Lord's Day. We likewise pledge ourselves, to make the consoling practices of the Christian religion. And above all, Holy Communion, an integral part of our lives. In so far as we shall be able so to do. Finally, we promise Thee. O glorious Mother of God and loving Mother of men. To devote ourselves wholeheartedly. To the service of Thy blessed cult. In order to hasten and assure through the sovereignty of Thine Immaculate Heart, the coming of the Kingdom, of the Sacred Heart of Thine Adorable Son, in our own hearts and in those of all men, in our country and in all the world, as in heaven. So on earth, Amen. Act of Faith 
O oh my God, I firmly believe that you are one God, in three divine persons. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I believe that your divine Son, became man and died for our sins. And that he will come, to judge the living and the dead. I believe these, and all the truths which the Holy Catholic Church teaches. Because you have revealed them, who are eternal truth and wisdom. Who can neither deceive nor be deceived. In this faith, I intend to live and die, Amen. Act of Hope O Lord God, I hope by your grace, for the pardon of all my sins. And after life here to gain eternal happiness, because you have promised it. Who are infinitely powerful, faithful, kind, and merciful. In this hope, I intend to live and die, Amen. O Lord God, I love you above all things. With my whole heart and soul, because you are all good and worthy of all my love. I love my neighbor as myself for the love of you. I forgive all who have injured me, and I ask pardon of all whom I have injured, Amen. St. Michael the Archangel Prayer O glorious Prince St. Michael! Chief and Commander of the Heavenly Hosts! Guardian of Souls, Vanquisher of Rebel Spirits! Servant in the House of the Divine King, and our Admirable Conductor! You who shine with excellence and superhuman virtue, deliver us from all evil! Who turn to you with confidence! And enable us by your gracious protection! to serve God more and more faithfully every day. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls, Amen. Morning Offering to St. Joseph Receive me, dear and chosen Father, and the offering of every movement of my body and soul, which I desire to present through thee, to my blessed Lord. Purify all. Make all a perfect holocaust. May every pulsation of my heart be a spiritual communion. Every look and thought an act of love. Every action a sweet sacrifice. Every word an arrow of divine love. Every step an advance toward Jesus. Every visit to our Lord, as pleasing to God as the errands of angels. Every thought of thee, dear saint, an act to remind thee that I am thy child. Accept each little devotion of the day though replete with imperfection, and offer it to Jesus, whose mercy will overlook all, since he regards not so much the gift as the love of the giver, Amen. Morning Offering of St. Therese of Lisieux This morning, I dedicate all my actions to you, my God, with the intention of bringing glory to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. I long to consecrate every heartbeat, every thought, and even the simplest tasks, by connecting them to his boundless merits. I also seek to make amends for my sins, by offering them to the furnace of his merciful love. Furthermore, I implore from you, my God, the grace to carry out your holy will perfectly, both for myself, and for those dear to me. I am willing to embrace the joys and sorrows, of this transient life out of love for you. So that, in the end, 
we may all be reunited in the eternal bliss of heaven, Amen. Prayers for Divine Provision Heavenly Father, I approach your throne with a heart full of gratitude. Acknowledging the countless blessings, you've showered upon my life. Today, I come before you seeking your divine provision, in the various aspects of my journey. You who know the depths of my heart, and the intricacies of my needs. I place my trust in your unwavering goodness. Guide me through the pathways of life, providing for me in ways that go beyond my understanding. Grant me the foresight to recognize your blessings, and the humility to receive them with gratitude. As I navigate the challenges of this world, grant me the resilience to face adversity, and the wisdom to learn from every experience. May your provision extend not only to my material needs, but also to the strength of my spirit, the clarity of my mind, and the well-being of my soul. Instill in me a spirit of generosity, that I may share the abundance you provide with those in need. Open my eyes to opportunities, where I can be a source of comfort and support to others, reflecting your love in tangible ways. In moments of uncertainty, envelop me in the assurance of your presence. May I find solace in the knowledge that you are my constant companion, guiding me through the twists and turns of life. Let your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and mind. Teach me to be a faithful steward of the resources you entrust to me, recognizing that all I have ultimately belongs to you. May I use these resources wisely and in accordance with your will, contributing to the well-being of those around me. I express my heartfelt gratitude for your unconditional love and the promise of provision found in your word. I surrender my anxieties and concerns to you, confident that you are the source of all that is good. In your infinite grace, I find comfort. And in your boundless love, I place my trust, Amen. Morning Prayer for Repentance and Salvation Loving Father, examine my heart and reveal my sins to me. Grant me the awareness to recognize them, and the strength to repent. Father, purify me from both the sins I know, and those hidden from me. Help me eliminate them entirely, preventing their recurrence. Heavenly Father, empower me to overcome the intentional and unintentional wrongs in my life. Grant me victory, over these shortcomings. Lord, I understand that the thoughts in my heart, impact the words from my mouth. Therefore, I implore you to cleanse my heart, ensuring that my words come from a pure and pleasing place. Lord, I am grateful that you seal, sanctify, and empower me. You are my guide, my teacher, and you pray through me. Help me to join forces with you as I use your word to pray for the salvation of my family, friends, and co-workers. Make me attuned to your promptings, and teach me how to collaborate with you, in praying your word over those who are seeking you. May my prayers be aligned with your will, and may they be a source of hope and transformation, for those who need your salvation. Mighty Lord, you are my provider, protector, and refuge. Only you can forgive my sins, and renew our everlasting relationship, Amen. O Holy Virgin, to whose feet we are led by our anxious uncertainty. In our search for an attainment of what is true and good, invoking you by the sweet title of Mother of Good Counsel. We beseech you to come to our assistance, when, along the road of this life, the darkness of error and of evil conspires towards our ruin, by leading our minds and our hearts astray. 
O seat of wisdom and star of the sea, enlighten the doubtful and the erring. That they be not seduced, by the false appearances of good. Render them steadfast in the face of the hostile, and corrupting influences of passion and of sin. O Mother of Good Counsel, obtain for us from your Divine Son a great love of virtue. And in the hour of uncertainty and trial, the strength to embrace the way that leads to our salvation. If your hand sustains us, we shall walk unmolested along the path. Indicated to us by the life and words of Jesus, our Redeemer. And having followed freely and securely, even in the midst of this world's strife. The Son of Truth and Justice under your maternal star, we shall come to the enjoyment of full and eternal peace with you, in the haven of salvation, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you so much for joining us, in today's morning prayer before you start your day. If you enjoyed what we are doing, I invite you to share it with the people that matter to you. I also invite you to pray today's Holy Rosary. We'll add the link in the description below. Once again, thank you very much friends for praying together, and I hope your day is fantastic, and filled with the grace and peace of the Lord. I look forward to praying with you again in the next prayer. Until then, God bless you, and may you find joy in Jesus.